When I was like about 15, 16 years old, and I was trying to build up my speed, my right hand speed, because I knew that I needed to do that to keep up. Because you got guys like James Hetfeld, who was really good at down picking. You got guys in Slayer that were really good in staccato picking, you know, Anthrax and all that stuff. I was really into all that kind of bands at that time, and I really wanted to pick up my uh, picking speed. You know? And so I didn't really have, I didn't know any techniques. There was no YouTube, there was nothing there to show me how to do anything but I had this crazy idea what happened if I would put my ankle weights on my wrists so I don't know I don't know if a lot of people knew about that back then but we used to have these big old bulky ankle weights that sports players used to use because my father and my family were pretty much into sports and they were trying to build up their speed as they were walking or running so they had these ankle weights. I decided to put it on my wrist and I decided to put black electrical tape around the joints of my fingers. So it'd be hard for me to press down. And then on this hand, I had the ankle weight. So I was trying to build the speed, trying to build up, build up my muscle. And you know, you leave it on there for a few minutes, then you would take it off, right? And I would be like, oh yeah. I was like, oh man, I could fly with this thing, right? So I, I did it for a couple of years just to build up my speed and my stamina and after a couple of years, by the time I was 18 years old, I was playing everything that I loved. And I was just, you know, picking really fast and I was really, really into all that stuff. And I wanted to see how fast I can go over time. But later on, you know, I, I watched other techniques of other people and some people were trying to explain how to, how to build up their speed. And I, I realized that, you know, I like to start off slow. Like you start off a slow riff and you build up. You build up, you build up, and you build up, and then the next thing you know, you're like, you're ripping fast. And, you know, I'd use it with a metronome, and that's kind of like pretty much how I did it. I just pretty much practiced. And then up until a few years ago, I never used to have, have to warm up. I used to be able to just wake up and be like, and I can just, I can just play that fast. But as the older I got, I noticed that I needed to warm up longer, you know? So before, I never used to warm up backstage to go on, to, to play a show, and never used to have to warm up. But now I gotta warm up at least 30 minutes before I go. I do all the stretching and all that stuff and, you know, stretch your fingers and your muscles and then I'm able to do it. But before that, it was like I didn't have to do it at all. But again, you know, as the older you get, you got to, you know, stretch your muscles out and get ready for your show. Well, there's different types of picks that I used. Um, back in the day, I used the traditional pick. It had more of a rounder edge, right? And I noticed that when you pick on a string, that the rounder edge makes it really smooth and it just kind of s glides off the string, right? And I noticed, you know, over the years of tracking guitars that you really gotta hold your pick a certain way just to get a certain tone, a certain attack, just the way you dig into the string. So later on, I ended up starting to use the sharp picks because you would be able to get more definition and you can hear the pick attack even more and when you're recording you can actually see the waveform and you can actually see the pick attack right so different picks will give you different peaks of where you pick right so when i started using sharp picks you really saw that spike right and you can hear the clarity of it when i was using the more rounded picks you can hear it was more of like a rounder type of softer sound right I mean, it's, we're talking like, you know, you've got to put that under a microscope to kind of see it, but I hear it. When I see it, I hear it. And now the sharp picks I really like, you can really see that, that pick attack and you, you can hear it on the records. There's even different materials that, that could make it sound brighter or duller. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're, we're talking about, you know, having that ear to notice that, you know, some people don't have that ear to notice that kind of stuff. But I've been doing it for so long, so I have that ear to notice the difference between picks, the material, the material of the picks. Some picks have a different type of material that can make it sound brighter. Some sound duller, and some people just don't care. You know, you know. But for me, when I'm trying to accomplish, I care.